Hi and welcome back to the channels boys and girls I hope you can hear me, I've got my Pfizer open a little bit because we're just crawling through some lanes so let the air in it is uh, middle of July and the UK are in for a massive heat wave this weekend it is an evening so it's another ride after work got to get out so I'm just going to put the uh, Pfizer down but yeah, as you can see Beautiful, beautiful weather we're having at the moment. I know some can play it's too hot, it gets too muggy, and I'm one of them when it gets silly, but you can't make the most of it. Guys, when it's wet and horrible, we moan then as well in the UK. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all well and riding safe. So, topic of conversation tonight, or this evening, or this morning, or whenever you're watching this, riding pillion on the speed twin now I've never done it reason why I'm talking about it is I'm just about to meet my friend who's taken his son out on his Kawasaki 1000 so yeah he, he's borrowed a lid off me the other day and he's gonna take his uh, son out for it so he's obviously had to adjust all the preload and stuff ready he took his son out previously when he had his speed triple so it's not like his first time of a pillion not the first time for his son either but on this bike it's his first time anyway brilliant but it got me thinking now my wife left a bit but she's never going to get on this bike with me so she's a nurse <laughs> so she's seen plenty of people fall off and things like that so yeah, she has no intention of ever, ever coming on the uh, bike with me. And my daughters, I wouldn't let on. They're only like five and eight, so I have no intention of taking them. However, my other friends, either not into bikes, or yeah, they just, they just, they're just not into bikes. So I've never had to take a pillion. So I don't even assure myself to take a pillion just because of that. And another thing that got me thinking is obviously with all the preload and stuff what a pain in the ass with the stock suspension on the speed twin because as anyone's known if they've altered the preload for just general riding you have to take off the rear cans to get the preload done nicely or at least loosen them out of the way because the little socket you get in the side of the the bike the little toolkit tool um, it's a bit useless really um, I'm uh, as a short rider. I I, I I run mine on Boggo standard preload. So and it's fine for me and my weight. Cause I'm only a little guy. So uh, in fact, my mate rode this, who's six foot three, I think he is, and he didn't even grumble about the rear suspension. So um, goes to show that it's not too bad. It just depends on the type of riding you want. Um, but if you twist the preload, obviously it hardens everything up, the suspension, and uh, obviously it can raise the ride height on the rear, which if you're height dependent, is not the best idea. Although, one or two clicks on this would be fine for me. Uh, in fact, probably more to be fair, but I quite like how it is right now. Um, I've only been bling through these lanes because I am waiting to meet a tractor. We did on one of my last videos, and uh, there, there ain't much room. <laughs> uh, especially on this one, as you can see. Um, but it's that time of year, they're in and out the fields all the time, so... Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, I just thought... Do you take people out in your speed twin? I know many people do, but do you just leave the preload alone? Or do you adjust it regularly? Or do you do what a lot of people have and just literally just gone, this is a stupid error in Triumph's part and replaced it with aftermarket suspensions with uh, easily adjustable preload and probably dampening. Um, like I said, never had an issue so far. Hello. And uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's just the topic of conversation. Um, I've already done an awful lot. Uh, since our last vlog, I haven't even been in the car or anything, so um, so I haven't even been in the uh, AMG. I do plan to this weekend though, because it's going to be a scorcher. 
I'm going to try and get out on both if I can. <laughs> uh, F1, F1 catch up. Obviously, since I last did an F1 little catch up in my vlogs, we've had Silverstone and we've just had Austria. What two cracking Grand Prix! Silverstone, by far the best uh, race we've had this season. By far. I know, you know, I'm based in the UK, Silverstone's our home track and all that. But I just think for entertainment value, it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I absolutely. Uh, it's a bit gravelly and crap along here, isn't it? Yeah, I thought, yeah, best race of the season by far. Lots of action, high speeds crash. Luckily, you know, I don't know spoilers. Hopefully, everyone's watched it. If you are interested, it was a high speed crash worth watching on YouTube? Because the Halo blatantly saved his life. In fact, it saved the uh, F2 driver's life as well at Silverstone that weekend as well. So, bravo, Halo! Well done. Um, what else was there? Austria, yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased for uh, Charles Leclerc. I think he uh, deserved that. Unlucky Saints with his uh, big blowout, big fire with the cost cap in and stuff like that. I'm sure Ferrari uh, were well impressed. Obviously not his fault. The car is so fragile, those Ferraris. And that's what's going to lose them, the championship. You know, the car, the Ferrari was fundamentally on race day better than Max's. I think the temperature went in Ferrari's favour with the uh, with the air temps and the tyres getting up to temperature and working better. So, uh, but yeah, two quality races. I think we've got another week before it's the uh, uh, the French Grand Prix, and then I think it's Hungary before the mid-season break. So yeah, definitely continue looking after that. But I believe Merck think there's going to be another good circuit for them because it's a smooth circuit and as we know Paulson is their issues but yeah what do you think of this season obviously if you do like these little uh, chats about about the F1 I will continue to do it throughout the season on top of my normal vlogs and um, leave a comment below because I'm not I've not uh, I don't have that many followers as you know so please do like and subscribe and do comment, it means the world. You know, I'm only doing this as a little hobby. You know, I have many a time for bugger it, but I've actually done a video once a week for a whole year. And, you know, like I said, don't get paid for it. You know, content is very hard, especially in the winter and stuff. So my garage vlogs and things like that, you know, I did put a bit of effort in and stuff like that, you know. I said I haven't got millions of money to have a nice camera set up, but yeah, I appreciate the support guys, so if you are watching, you know, randomly or whatever, please join us. I like, I like to see a few more subscribers join, and uh, join our Facebook group, anyway, <laughs> only if you want to, at the end of the day it's up to you, but it's free, and I do do regular vlogs, so uh, if you're like me, you get bored in the evenings, and it's always nice to uh, follow someone with common interests. So, I'm going to get off this off road and find some decent roads now and meet up with my mate. Anyway, speak to you soon. Have a good weekend. Bye. Oh, God, look at all these potholes. <laughs> Who would want their preload done up? <laughs> oh, God. Why did I go this way? <laughs> Catch you on the next one, guys.